this is how we command results in destiny prayer becomes exciting when you are praying scripture when you are praying nonsense it will just frustrate you and you'll be clear that your prayer will not be answered take time to write scriptures don't just shout yeah good day everyone welcome to do not Miss hobby youtube channel so today i'm going to be giving you a thoughtful revision on a podcast by apostle joshua sam and so what is this podcast about this podcast is about praying with scripture so apostle joshua Sam has stressed the importance of praying scriptural based prayer so let me just look at the overview this sermon discusses the significance of leveraging scripture in prayer to command result in one's destiny highlighting the transformational power of prayer when it is focused and scripturally Based. The sermon discusses the significance of leveraging scripture in prayer to command result in one's destiny, highlighting the transformational power of prayer when it is focused and scripturally based. So, there are so many things I learned from this podcast. So, number one is what scripture based prayer. This emphasizes the importance of praying with the scripture. So, the second thing I learned also from this sermon is strategies of effective prayer. Number one also is identifying scriptural promises. Relate your prayer requests with specific promise principles in scripture the number two is engage in focus prayer retreats dedicate time to pray intensively over a specific scripture expecting god to act on his word the number three is invoke the spirit of remembrance pray for god to cause those who can aid your destiny to remember and act in your favor you know this sermon discusses the significance of leveraging the scripture in prayer to command result in one's destiny so i believe when you are done watching this podcast it's going to cause a significant shift in your life thank you so much this is how we command results in destiny prayer becomes exciting when you are praying scripture when you are praying nonsense it will just frustrate you and you'll be clear that your prayer will not be answered take time to write scriptures don't just shout and god has helped people to put the scriptures for you at least two or three scriptures go to god in fasting go to god pray lock your door this church is not growing father you are the god of increase you are the god of increase i will multiply them they shall not be few i will glorify them they shall not be small that becomes your scripture oh they are not coming because the place is far it's a lie where was the ark of noah when the animals found their way to the ark the ark of noah was placed in one position and the animals left everywhere noah did not know where the animals were but there was an anointing that compelled them it's called anakazo it's a grace that compels it said go to the highway and the byways and compel them to come that my house may be full listen i hope you don't mistaken what we're doing for pride but let me tell you this if you don't live like this i assure you you'll be frustrated this thing is not magical this is how you walk your salvation with fear and trembling walk out your salvation you are trusting god for a property beyond your savings let me just give this advice beyond your savings no matter how much money you have you can have the money and the owner will say i will not give you there are many things money cannot do psalm 44 and verse 3 somebody has received the revelation for his property this year psalm 44 and verse 3 they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their own arm save them but thy right hand and thine arm and the light of your countenance because thou hast a favor towards them someone just looks at you and says i'm working in the land office i just feel like including your name for an allocation and you will think it's one small land that looks like a kiosk you'll be given and you will never see the person again if you think you have to know those who help you save johnny did you hear what i said it takes a long time to know one person and yet you need many people cumulatively to help you so the bible says strangers shall feed your flock when you are praying for help it must come from both known and unknown people abraham did not know abimelech but in one night it was abimelech that caused abraham to prosper 
he wanted to take his wife and god said if you touch that woman you are dead by the next day all the blessings of abraham was a peace offering for apology so you can meet with somebody who does not know you and say something is making me bless you tell the person you are right you don't know what i did in my room that something has a name Do you believe what I'm saying? I believe it. Believe this. One day you stand up and you're just walking in your room prophetically. Everywhere the soles of your feet treads upon. You are doing it in your room. Oh. Don't worry that the room is just a two by two or four by. Don't mind the devil. You just do what I'm telling you to do. Walking around by the spirit. Sanaka parako siata. Grand take a baracus theater, a You come to do ministry in a city and they tell you there are forces that the ministry does not survive one, two, three years. Don't you know what to do? You don't confront forces on the pulpit, you confront forces in the secret place. The pulpit is a place for manifestation. Don't stand on the pulpit, and that's when you are shouting at the spirits to hear you. It's too late. You deal with it in a secret place. The controlling powers across this territory. Hear the word of the Lord. The Bible says, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. If I come by myself, I shouldn't be blessed. But because I come in the name of the Lord. Is that not in your Bible? I'm showing you the prayer of faith. Word compliant prayer that produces power. The triumphant entry of Jesus, they said, Bless Hosanna in the highest. The triumphant entry is the testimony of anybody who comes in the name of the Lord. When you come in the name of the Lord, the proof that you come in the name of the Lord is that there must eventually be a triumphant entry. There was nothing that was used in that triumphant entry that was a personal property of Jesus. Not the leaves, not the men, not the donkey. He just came in the name of the Lord and provisions followed to make sure that the entry was triumphant. Don't say, I don't have money, I don't have this, I don't have that. No. The invisible things are the mothers of the visible things. Everything visible is a child. The name of the mother that gave birth to it is the spirit realm. The resources that you have are beyond the things that you see. Don't be deceived by the amount in your account. Whether you say it correctly or not, you are still wrong. If what you have is 10 million and you say I have 10 million, you are still wrong. Do you believe this? I'm sharing with someone you have compassed a level for a long time. Don't make it look like God is not faithful. It's time to be angry. Listen, whatever you tolerate has the license to remain. Did you hear what I said? Whatever you tolerate has the license to remain. Your laxity to press for change is the authorization for tragedies to remain. The day you get dissatisfied, Lord, I cannot remain like this. Everything that is alive grows. Where is my growth? As proof that I'm alive. Biology and spirituality both agree that when a thing is alive, it grows. So if it is true that you are alive, where is the growth that attests to the fact that you are alive? That is why you must cause the spirit of delay. I've taught you that the classic character of delay is that the only thing that grows in your life is your age. Once the spirit of delay is upon you, nothing else grows, only your age. There is no justification of your days by the corresponding accomplishments. I want you to be tired today while you are listening to me. We came here to release our faith. If it is not working, don't keep quiet. Did you hear what I said? If it is not working, don't keep quiet. Say it after me. If it is not working, it says give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem. Now, what does it mean? To pray the prayer of faith number one
what does it mean to pray the prayer of faith number one the prayer of faith is scripture based prayer write it down the prayer of faith is scripture based prayer why do we pray scripture based prayer numbers chapter 23 and verse 19 god is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent god is not a man that he should lie he is not the son of man that he should repent had he said it and shall he not do it had he spoken and shall he not make it good god is not a man number two i like this psalm 138 and verse 2 mm. psalm 138 and verse 2 psalm 132 8 verse 2 let's read together i will worship towards your holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth why for thou hast magnified thy word above all thy names you have lifted and exalted your word that means when i pray word compliant scripture based prayer i have a guarantee by the spirit that god will not be tampered by any biases or emotions he's exalted and magnified his word even above his name scripture based prayer never pray and ask anything without presenting the scriptural basis that commits god father i'm bringing before you my rent what is the basis i will tell you the bible says watch this if ye being evil he was speaking to fathers know how to give good gifts to your children now you come as a child and say lord i am your child you are father the proof of fatherhood according to scripture is the ability to give are we together now yes oh i know that i was careless i went and did whatever it is i went to go and use the money for my rent to celebrate a birthday party now i am in trouble father your word says that your mercy triumphs over judgment it says your mercies are new every morning your judgments are not new every morning I come before you in repentance and sincerity. I have been careless, but I ask for your mercy, for your namesake. You are praying Bible-based, scripture-based prayer. Your child returns from school and it looks like things are not working. He's failing in the exams. Beating the child, kicking the child, getting angry, getting frustrated, and say, God, this is your child. That's not how it works. Carry Psalm 112 blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands god you said my seed shall be mighty this does not look like might this looks like shame or reproach i petition this child on account of the integrity of your word this is how believers pray this is prayer that produces results hallelujah are we blessed you are a pastor and you are leading people you are not seeing great people rise from your congregation go to god in prayer genesis 17 and verse 6 lord there is a covenant with you that greatness will come out of me genesis 17 and verse 6 media help us please he says and i will make thee exceeding fruitful and i will make nations of thee and kings not shall come to thee shall come out of thee you carry that and do a three days retreat with it and you watch somebody will tell you i got a job with a multinational another person i established a business in six months has been global god is not honoring your word he's honoring his word that you have made your word listen this is the secret to mighty testimonies that you see i vowed before god that i will never raise a weak people and it's not because i'm joshua selman this is one of the anchor scriptures hmm. hallelujah it looks like everybody is forgetting you people are not remembering you go to god in prayer and cry 
that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep. He said, bring me the chronicles. And he said, this person has done this. What has been done to him? And they said, nothing. And a book of remembrance was open. You cry before God. And you say, I've been part of the testimony of many people. Lord, they have, forg they have forgotten me. He said, the keeper of Israel, he does not sleep, neither slumbers. Ah! And the wine presser said before Pharaoh, I remember my wrong this day. So it is wrong to forget those who help you. Did you hear what I said? It is a wrong that he remembered. I remember my wrong. That this person was the one praying with me. Now I, I got a job and for five years I have not even remembered him to say take for tea and bread. He didn't say I remember. I remember my wrong. It is wrong. Also, visit our website at www.flemingchannel.com. Thank you and God bless you.